everyone and welcome back to the reading platter so this is the video that i have already filmed and it is kind of a voiceover video a voiceover video and um i'm just filming this intro like this and the next part will be the voiceover video actually i'm filming this part like this because i want to tell you the real you know definition for the middle grade books like there are a lot of people that have that have asked me what actually are middle grade books and they think that these books are written for children and not for adults so they don't pick these books actually middle grade books are the books where you know the main character in the story is from age 7 to 12 you can say the main character's age is 7 to 12 and sometimes there are characters uh, who are from 13 to 19 that is the teen age which are probably the teen books but uh, if the teen books if those teen books are not contemporary they are also clubbed into middle grade books so middle grade books are for children they are of easy language uh, they are for adults as well you can enjoy them the book recommendations that I will give now, you'll understand why you'll enjoy them. They're not totally for children. They're not like 10 to 12 books, uh, line books. And those like story books, actually, those are children's literature books, you can say. Uh, I will recommend one children uh, literature book as well. So you will know the difference. And middle grade books can be enjoyed by adults as well. The main character of the book is actually of the age 7 to 12. And sometimes 13 to 19 as well. If the book is not contemporary, it will be middle grade. So this is what middle grade books are. Enjoying middle grade books does not depend on your age. It depends on your taste, what kind of books you like. You like books with easy languages or um, easy plots and fast paced book, you can pick a middle grade. Uh, a fun adventurous story, a middle grade. You know, that will be easy to read, to understand if you are starting, like if you are starting your reading journey and you do not know what kind of books you like, I always recommend to pick a middle grade book. So in this video, I will be recommending four middle grade books and one children's literature and I will mention it properly, which one is the children's literature so you can understand it. So let's begin with the video. So the first book that I will be recommending is a children's literature. It is a picture book. That's why it's a children's literature. It is a kind of a story book. So the book is All the Places You Will Go by Dr. Seuss. I read it for one of my blog where I read all the books uh, recommended in Friends. And I link the video up in the i card and down in the description as well. So this is a picture book, story book. So this is children's literature. This is made for children. You can read it as well for fun, short book. That's up to you. So uh, it had a very, very sweet message throughout the book. And not only at the end of the book. Like a lot of the story books, like children's literature are like, they tell the story and then there is the moral. The one thing that I loved about this book is there is a moral throughout the story. Every line of the story, every topic of the story gives you a message, gives you inspiration. So that I think is very, very nice for children. So I'll definitely recommend if you have children, you can read it to them. If you want to read it for yourself, you can read it as well. There is no, you know, there is no age limit to who can read it and who cannot. You can enjoy it as well. So the next book is a middle grade book. It is a novel, a proper novel and not a story book. The book is The One Great Norm by Jeff DiNardo. And uh, there are a few illustrations in the book. Uh, the whole book is like a, it's, it's a story it's of a magical land the main character of the story is i guess 11 year old uh, i believe so that's why it is a middle grade book uh, because the children a child is the main character of the book so i mean it was very interesting it, the 
plot was very unique and like if i would have thought of writing something like this i wouldn't have made it like i couldn't have made it this long because uh, i couldn't have thought of so many adventures and the adventures in this story were really nice i was shocked on how like it was beautifully represented and the story was so sweet and adventurous and fun to read i laughed and i it was so much fun and i'll definitely definitely recommend it the next book is also a middle grade it is a fantasy and that is the ikabog by jk rowling and this is about a fantasy world about a monster who is not actually a monster but is a good monster so this monster is supposed to be bad and people fear him and the king of that fantasy town or kingdom uh you know uh is not that good not intelligent and his friends take advantage of this monster's fear in the people of the kin- kingdom and they are corrupted they corrupt the whole kingdom and at the end our main characters that are children uh tell the truth to the whole kingdom they you know uh you know unleash the truth about the ikabog and it is very fun and interesting to read and you know i couldn't predict the end of the story even after reading so many middle grades it was the best feeling i'll tell you and i mean the ending was so worth it it was fun till the very end so i'll definitely definitely recommend this book the next book is a trilogy it is a three book story and the book is the jumbies by tracy baptist it is a horror middle grade fiction the again the main character of this book is a child a teenager i guess a 12 or 13 year old girl and to be honest i loved the first book but i did not enjoy the second book that much but i'll definitely recommend the first book if you don't want to read the second book you can still read the first one there are separate stories and um, the second book is connected to the first one but you can stop after reading the first book that's no compulsion and i have loved the story so much it is said to be horror but it was so fun reading it it was adventurous it was like i don't know surprising and i'll definitely recommend this book the next book is one of the books that everyone have enjoyed and that is charlie and the chocolate factory by roald dahl it is also a children's book it is a classic and it is super exciting and the main character is the child and it revolves around a chocolate factory it is very it is a total middle grade you know and it is a fantasy world with a very crazy owner of the cho- chocolate factory and it was so funny it was like i don't know it was just amazing it was so nice i really enjoyed my time with this book so much it was fun fantastic and you know uh the starting of the book had some surprise elements and the way it was written i wasn't even sure the our main character would have continued being in the story like it was written in that way and it was so fun to read so surprising and i definitely recommend it so these are the five books that i recommended the four of them being middle grades and the first one was children's literature so i hope you got the difference between the children's literature and middle grade and what middle grade books actually are i hope you enjoy reading these books and i hope you enjoy middle grade as when well. it is a very sweet and fun and adventurous genre so This is it for today's video and we'll meet in the next one.